Tonight's headlines are brought to you by McDonald's. Good evening, Commonwealth, and thanks for watching the Channel 2 News. I'm Ashley McDowell. Let's take a look at tonight's top stories. Social media lit up, wondering what on the island is going on with the power. Also tonight, a couple of inbound travelers bring more than just themselves to the island. And starting this week, court will take place in three separate locations on the island. We tell you where. In sports, no leagues, no games, just races and races. Stay with us. These stories and more are next. Great customer rep. Always willing to go above and beyond for his customers. I truly hope she noticed she gets noticed at work since I do see sh she is a hard worker. A few technician that visited my home was great and helpful. Thank you. Thank you. You really keep it up. Your customer service is always very good. Awesome customer service with great technicians that are really helpful. Thank you so much, Sherlyn and Docomo Pacific. That's so sweet. <laughs> feels good to see this kind of messages because, uh, you know, we try our best to do customer service. We make sure that we will 100% uh, dissolve the issues. For all those people that are seeking assistance. I just want my customers happy. And help them out each and every day. I would want to go to a place with someone that's just like me. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Come to Docomo and uh, you'll feel like you're at home. going out each day, doing what they can to hold us all together. We're here to help those helping us all by keeping our lights on. Buy one, get one free for the off-road adventure at Marianas Trekking. Come ride our side-by-sides at our best price ever and experience a great 90-minute trail ride. Rain or shine, hopefully rain. Book now at Marianas Trekking. Saturdays and Sundays by reservation. Call 323-8735 or book at marionstrekking.com. Off a day to Rwami and good evening Commonwealth. Today is Monday, October 12th, 2020. Power has been fully restored on Saipan after an island-wide power outage early this morning. As you can see from this video that is circulating social media, the power outage occurred at 3.38 a.m. on feeder one circuit fronting the Commonwealth Healthcare Corporation. The Commonwealth Utilities Corporation states the fault caused the electrical surge that tripped Power Plant 1 and the Agrico plant, which triggered the protective device that caused the power to go out throughout the island. CUC line crew were able to quickly repair the under voltage problem and power was restored throughout the island by 10.25 a.m. As for the water, CUC says Gualarai went back online at 11.18 a.m. Papago received water restoration at 1.30 p.m. and customers in San Vicente will continue to experience low water pressure until further notice due to the low tank level. If you are still experiencing any power outage, contact CUC's customer call center at 664-4282. Two new positive cases of COVID-19 over the weekend in the CNMI brings the total to 77 since March. 
CHCC states the individuals were identified through testing upon arrival on Saturday and are in the isolated quarantine site at Kanoa. Contact tracing has been initiated for the passengers on the same flight as well as any close contacts. To date, seven people are in isolation. Of the 77 positive cases, 51 are from inbound travel, with 29 originating from the U.S. mainland, 12 from a U.S. territory, and 10 from a foreign country. Courtrooms at the Horiguchi Building in Garapan will be open as an alternative site for the Superior Court. According to the Commonwealth Judiciary Administrative Office, starting Wednesday, October 14th, the first and third floors will be used for jury trials, bench trials, and hearings. Judge Naraha and Judge Camacho will preside over matters in the Horiguchi Building, where Judge Govindo, Judge Teresa Kim Tenorio, and Judge Bogdan will continue to preside over cases at the Marianas Business Plaza and Guma Justicia. The temporary use of courtrooms in the Horiguchi Building is funded by the CARES Act. The CNMI Department of Labor is asking for approval on how to distribute the $7.7 .7 million grant from the President's executive order back in August. The Lost Wages Assistance Program will provide $300 per week to each eligible person that has lost wages due to COVID-19 paid for by FEMA, where the state is to match 25% or $100 per week per person. But the CNMI DOL is still waiting on approval from the White House to run the program without the CNMI's cross-share requirement. Let's join the $300 a week, but I really want to make sure that the CNMI doesn't dig a hole for itself um, by promising our U.S. federal partners, yeah, we'll take the 300 but maybe, maybe not we'll have the $100 because as you can see, our economy has not picked up, has not turned around. Our tourism industry will be hurting for the next few months uh, and beyond. And so I don't want to commit to a program unless the CMI is able to afford it. Benevente says the program will be paid retroactive to August 1st. The island of Rhoda will soon have a new location for smaller boats to dock when transporting goods and or people. At the Commonwealth Ports Authority board meeting, the sole source procurement of services was approved for the building of a new floating dock. This dock will be used solely for the smaller commercial, commercial boat operators and cost around $260 for phase one. The blue water, marine and dock specialties. Uh, this is the same company that uh, is awarded the contract to do the uh, U.S. Fish and Wildlife funded uh, deal on a project for the um, fishermen in the marina. Tovez says he expects the project to be completed by the end of the year. The Seroptimist Club of the Northern Mariana Islands honored their annual Live Live Your Dream Award recipient on Saturday night. Chris Nelson reports. 27-year-old Christine Ferretti was awarded this year's Live Your Dream Award by the Seroptimus in a ceremony held Saturday night inside the Fiesta Resort. For the local chapter, this was the seventh recipient. All are female heads of household, enrollees in an educational or vocational post-secondary program who demonstrated a financial need for the award. Christine's now entered for a potential district award, and if she wins a district, then she's entered for a regional award. Tell me a little bit how you're how you're feeling tonight. Um, I'm I'm I still feel like I'm dreaming right now, <laughs> and I'm still trying hard not to cry. <laughs> Tell me about your story. I actually lost my job because of the pandemic, and now that um, school is all online, especially with, um, elementary, I have to stay home with my kids for their um, online schooling, so I can't really go back to work right now. So that's what I'm doing right now. But I'm also taking online classes at NMC for my nursing degree. Tell us about your family life. Um, we just stay home. We hardly ever go anywhere. And if we do, it's just um, to the playgrounds or to the beach. But we're usually on our own. Is it hard for the kids to not be at school? Uh, no, they actually love it being at home, actually. Me as their teacher, I don't know why, but yeah. <laughs> what is important to you with the children? Um, that you teach them like what sort of values are important to you? Um, to me, um, for my children, it's uh, about, um, I, I don't base them off on their grades, 
I I just let them know like as long as you're trying, then that's all that matters. What are uh, some words of inspiration you'd give to other moms that are out there making things happen in the community? I would say there's always a rainbow after the rain. <laughs> that's my everyday motto. After the break, Waves, Barbecue, and Family is a perfect representation of today's holiday. Stay tuned. Aren't you going to wear your seatbelt? It's fine. I'm late and we ain't going too far. Don't pick that up. It's fine. Don't worry about it. Look out! It is easy to get drawn in to the daily mandates of life, thinking that things cannot wait. It is a fact that time does not stop for anyone. But there are times when you will need to stop for the sake of everyone. No matter how important you think it is, it can always wait. Make it special. Make it 360. The best food and views all the way around. Jose and Pedro were born on the very same day. Jose liked to play sports. Pedro liked to play video games. Jose's favorite word was pass. Pass me the ball. Pedro's favorite word was pass too. Pass me the rice. Jose is retired and has both time and energy. His life is just beginning. Pedro has diabetes, hypertension, and gout. His life could soon end. Eat less, play more, live longer. Brought to you by PHI, the pharmacy you can trust. Welcome back to the Channel 2 News. Commonwealth Cultural Day is a time for the people of the Marianas to reflect upon and appreciate the various cultures in the community. Our Sally Lemus speaks with folks who share their thoughts. The Sinamai is popularly known for its beautiful, pristine beaches and the warm hospitality from its people. Today, people from all walks of life now call this beautiful island home. As the Sinamai celebrates Commonwealth Cultural Day, members of the community share what they love about their culture. What I love about my culture is there's so many different kinds of food out there that we could try and make and share with the other people. And family too, of course. Food, number one, my wife, number two, number three is family. The food. <laughs> Definitely. The um, family time. Yeah, family time and the food. What I love about my culture is we are a big family. I love, a, I love our food and I love that they taught us how to respect others. The Marianas has a very diverse set of cultures within the community, and these folks tell us some advantages. I love that there's a lot of culture here, that culture is here that we can learn about their faith, their food, and you know how they live on island, and getting to know each other, making friends. And the only way you can, uh, you know, go with uh, the flow is. You have to commingle with the rest of those 
families and the rest of these people over here. So, I've been here for nine, since 1993 and the only way I can tell you right now is this place is my second home. Commonwealth Cultural Day allows the people to celebrate the heritage rooted in our practices and beliefs. It's also a time to honor the diversity that makes a stronger Commonwealth. I'm Sally Lemus for KSPN News. And a happy Commonwealth Cultural Day to all of you. On Guam, stable positive COVID-19 patients will be moved from the Guam Memorial Hospital to a new site. KUAM reports. Half a day, Cena Mike. Here's what's making news on Guam. As the beds fill up at the Guam Memorial Hospital, Administrator Lillian Posada says they're ready to open up the skilled nursing unit at Barragata Heights for COVID positive patients. Our Peter Santos has more. After several months, the skilled nursing facility located in Barragata Heights is finally opening its doors to be used as the Guam Memorial Hospital's COVID isolation facility of SIF. We are going to start moving patients there today. According to GMH Administrator Lillian Posadas, the recent spike in COVID hospitalizations has the hospital bursting at its seams. In addition to non-COVID patients, there are more than 152 patients as of today. To give you an idea of how dire the situation is, according to Posadas, the hospital has a licensed bed capacity of 161 beds. And that's not just GMH seeing a surge, according to Posadas. It's also GRMC, the designated non-COVID hospital. Both hospitals. You know, we, we are busting at the seams, so, you know, people are sick. Plans to use the SNF as a COVID isolation facility has long been stalled due to the need to replace chillers at the Barragata facility and staff needed for patients. But the surge of hospitalization has exacerbated the need to handle patient overflow. You know, we need to continue decompressing here so that as, you know, patients come in, we can then make sure that, the you know, they, we can get them uh, into a room. Posada says the plan for today is to move less than a handful from GMH to the SIF. The doctors are looking at, uh, you know, they're, they're still assessing the patients. And so some already have been identified. Uh, those who are very stable, who are on low flow oxygen, uh, close to being discharged home, but still need to be you know, managed uh, with observation. So the doctors are looking at the, the census and to we're going to start today. Um, possibly looking at four today for now um, and you know in a, in a gradual uh, progression of getting them in getting them settled getting them stabilized and so we are gonna we are looking at four on the list for now as the hospital proceeds with the transport of COVID patients to the SIF Posada says they won't be tying up GFD's ambulances to do the transport as they have the staff to do it themselves. We have uh, our medical transport uh, service plus our patient couriers who are certified and are licensed to drive the vehicle and contain the, the individual uh, still with the, who needs to be in isolation. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Peter Santos. Stay informed 24-7 by checking out KUM.com or downloading the KUM News app available for iOS or Android. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Tyler Matinani. KSPN 2 Sports never runs out of gas. We're going to motor on after this break. Thank you for being here with us. For finding ways to keep things happening. For making things feel a lot better. Thank you. Energize, realize, feels so good just to be alive. Time's a gift, my time is free. I can spend it on you, you can spend it on me. I can say you'll be blown away by the change you see, you see me. And I feel alright, dance alright, put a little flavor in my life. Thank you for staying strong with us. And for us. Thank you for always connecting. For keeping us together. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for reminding us. That despite this distance. We are still better together. Dokomo Pacific. Better together.
Chan Su Lin Foundation promotes the culture of giving back. The foundation and its generous partners are committed to supporting programs that include health, education, and sports. Initiatives that promote arts and culture, the environment, and tourism will benefit our community and our residents. Giving back and making a difference will help ensure that the island paradise we call home will be a better place to live. Hi, I'm Dre, one of the personal trainers here at Gold's Gym, and today we're going to go over the cable lat pull down. Now what we want to remember with machine-based exercises, there's really no right or wrong way of doing it. There's multiple ways of executing the exercise. What you'll often see is lifters executing the exercise in this fashion, and instead of working the muscles of your upper back, you're just irritating the shoulder joint, which is what you don't want. All right, let's clean that up a little bit. Let's sit upright a little bit more. Okay, as you get a full stretch, bring it down with your elbows coming in. So in general, as you set up this way, you're going to be feeling majority of the impulse right here, which is your lats. Okay. He's getting a full stretch and he's getting a full squeeze in the bottom. Did you know Cinema's coral reefs and seagrass ecosystems are worth about $115 million a year? Coral reefs alone are valued over $100 million a year. All the more reason these precious ecosystems must continue to be protected. Coral reefs are important to the people of the CNMI because they provide traditional and subsistence uses, production of commercial food products, recreational opportunities for a healthy tourist economy, and physical protection from storms. Do not break or collect coral to take home with you. We need them. Corals are living animals, and it takes decades to create reef structures. Planting trees, grass, and shrubs on bare soil helps prevent sediment from entering our oceans. Trees also help fight climate change. Use a rain barrel and collect water from roofs, yards, and paved surfaces. You can help keep storm water on your property and pollutants out of waterways by building a rain garden. The ocean floor isn't a dance floor. Stepping on corals can break them. Maintain buoyancy when snorkeling or diving. Nutrients from excess fertilizer increases algae growth that blocks sunlight to corals. Coral reefs need clean, clear water to survive. Help keep our beaches litter-free. Always take out your own trash and a little bit more. Anchor in sandy areas away from coral and seagrass or use mooring buoys so the anchor and chain do not drag on nearby corals. Reduce, reuse, rethink, repair, refuse, recycle. Do not feed the fish. Do not take or step on coral. Do not collect shells. Do not fish. Help with local tree planting community events local beach cleanups, and get involved in protecting your watershed. Participate in training or education programs that focus on reef ecology. You can make a difference. Please contact Nina to get involved in community conservation. Tonight, sports brought to you in part by Tan Holdings through the Tan Su Lin Foundation, making communities a better place to live. Buenas sports fans. Buenas sports fans, let's go to Marpy for Sunday's motocross racing. There were five races, and we're going to feature two of them tonight, save the others for later in the week in case it rains. In a 
Show your true colors. There they are. For the first time, these kids raced around the grown-ups track on their mini bikes before they raced on the adjacent flat track. Five-year-old Genoa Santos on 424 led start to finish on this four-lap race. Ambulances were on standby in case anyone got hurt. No one did. The jumps were there, although mm, they didn't jump. They rolled over them like they were speed bumps. Harley finishes in third place, and for that, a round of applause from her admirers. in the mini ones and twos. Oop, we got a late bluer. This race, Good. it's all right. Oh, that was close. That was close, right? Mari Alvarez takes the checkered flag way ahead of MJ Palacios to secure the victory. What a dominant, hey, dominating performance. How'd you do it? Oh, man. I got a lot of padding on me, so I'm like, if I fall, I think I'll be good. So it gave me a lot of confidence. All right, you were good. <laughs> you know, the Marpy track is temporary while waiting for clearance from DPL for Caltown. There's a Brownsfield issue to be resolved first, and that popped up when Caltown was operating as a supercross track back in 07. Brittany Camacho was one of dozens of riders until her ATV wheel broke and that cost her points and money. What happened? Well, she ran over a shell left over from World War II. Fortunately, it was just a shell casing and no one got hurt. All in all, though, it was a good if dusty day for racing, according to MRA President Eric Cruz. Schedule everybody um, road and safety uh, each, uh, riding. Nobody hurt? No, no major injuries. So. Just a few minor scrapes. Very minor. How does the course look pretty dusty out there today? Of course, we try to water it down, but it uh, looks like we don't have enough water, so we'll try our best on the following. But How many teams do you have? You got the Typhoons, Trench Tech? Oh, pretty much. Uh, it's yeah. getting bigger. So far, we got about seven teams going on, and it's growing and growing. Next month's points qualifier is not set due to the possibility of holding racing next on Rota. We're in a different schedule, I mean, some complication of the schedule of Rota race. It might be canceled or, or whatsoever, but we might have a race here on Rota. That's on Rota? Race. Yeah, for much. They have a track? They're preparing it up. Here's the wind-up and the pitch. I don't believe what I just saw! Go-karts, off-roading, and the driving range now open at Marianas Trekking. Go-kart track will be open Fridays, Saturdays, and Sundays with 50% off when you book online at MarianasTrekking.com. Hours, 4 p.m. to 7 p.m. Use the promo code HAFA50 to get your discount. Off-roading is open, too, by reservation. Come on a 90-minute trail ride that is perfect for families. Book online at MarianasTrekking.com. Golfers. Come practice on the driving range. You can even pay online and we will have the balls waiting for you. Come see us weekends at Marianas Trekking, 323-8735. You have the flexibility to work out between 9 a.m. and 3 p.m. At Gold's Gym, we call this off-peak and it can save you money. 
short-term daytime memberships on sale now just $59 per month and gets you access to the biggest and cleanest fitness center on island get yourself healthy and strong check out gold's gym today Today's high 89, the low 81, heat index 104, humidity 80%, tomorrow partly cloudy, isolated showers, winds light and variable, high 99, low 79, seas 4 to 5 feet out there, sunrise 608 and sunset at 558. That is it on this Commonwealth Cultural Day and also Columbus Day. Thank you for watching and see you back here on Wednesday.